Jennifer Wexton was gearing up for her third term as a United States Congresswoman in late 2022 when she received the difficult news that, even if she felt she had a lot left to give to the people of Virginia's 10th congressional district, her body didn't. Cognitively, I'm the person I've always been, Wexton, 55, tells people, her voice muffled and speech somersaulting. But there are things that it takes me a lot longer to do. Less than two years ago, the rising Democrat from Leesburg, Virginia, had a clear vision for her future. She entered Congress in 2018 with a few key bipartisan goals, including fighting childhood cancer in honor of a young girl in Wexton's community who died of an inoperable brain tumor. Her legislative roadmap was threatened shortly after the 2022 election, when involuntary clenching and curling in her fingers and toes forced her to get an examination that led to a Parkinson's diagnosis. I was like, Parkinson's? I can't have Parkinson's. Wexton recalled, noting that as a woman in her 50s, her risk factors were especially low. It was hard for me to deal with it at first. The congresswoman publicly revealed her diagnosis in a video posted on April 11, 2023, World Parkinson's Day, when she explained that, despite being a private person, she wanted to be transparent about her health journey and reassure constituents that she planned to continue serving in Congress for many years to come. Over the past few months, Parkinson's, has primarily affected my speech and how my mouth moves. You may notice I speak more quickly now, she said in the video. It also has affected how I walk and keep my balance. What Parkinson's is not is an untreatable disease, a cognitive impairment, or a death sentence, she continued. So please. You are welcome to empathize, but don't feel sorry for me.